the incredibly messy main bench. I've got some projects coming up. I will be posting more. I need to get some things done infrastructure wise. Be buying a lot more equipment next year, including a more modern scope, I hope. But right now, my attention goes to ventilation. I got if I solder here, it gets kind of obnoxious. My bench I had back in Dearborn, I had a fan, quite powerful fan, actually two fan motors on one long line, kind of in series with each other, but spaced out along the line in different places. It had quite a bit of suction. It's kind of nice. I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to start with one motor, and probably that's all I'll have. I temporarily removed the attic panel here. Put some cardboard up there to keep the airflow from whooshing up there right away. I removed the uh, wooden panel though. I removed the insulation that was stapled to the back of the panel. And I've removed the staples from the panel. And I've purchased a dryer vent. And this is all aluminum. I'm kind of surprised. It's a little better than the plastic stuff I guess. I still wouldn't use it for a real dryer. It tends to collect lint a lot easier than a smooth wall of a straight metal pipe. So don't use this for a dryer. If you do, keep an eye on it. It's a big fire hazard. But this being all aluminum, less of a fire hazard. Perfect for my uses for solder fumes. And I'm just going to route it, you know, along the back here and straight up and then into the attic. So this was just a jug, like a bleach jug or an antifreeze jug. And I cut the top off like that. So I got the handle exposed to the... My wire is going to go through that hole. And then I cut this opening until it's about the right size. It's actually going to be a little bit of restriction. Um, and I also cut this peanut jar so that... And I had to like push it in here. But you see it's actually captive in here. The hole is smaller than the peanut jar. So then I'm just going to push that forward. I guess I'm going to glue it or weld it or something uh, in place. Probably hot glue would be quick and easy. I don't know. See what I can find. And then that will be where my hose attaches to this. The fan, I picked this container because I figured the fan would fit in it. And it does pretty well. Originally, I had to put this fan on top of the board, you know, the fan inside the uh, attic, but then it's blowing the wrong way. It's an AC motor, so I can't really make it reverse. I do have some little three-inch uh, fans, but eh, I wanted the power of this thing. Old Radio Shack fan from way back. Serves many a... Has a lot of hours on it already, but it's still free. Tried to use a little acetone to weld this styrofoam and brush it off with an acid brush on the rim of the cup a couple times, pretty heavy, and set it into the styrofoam real fast. I wanted it to bind. And I thought it worked, but just to make sure I went around with the brush around the edges and then melted the whole thing. So it would have worked if I hadn't screwed with it. No, I can't find any thin styrofoam like that. This isn't styrofoam, it's some other kind of foam and acetone doesn't touch it. I can't get this to weld to that. Maybe glue or maybe try to find some styrofoam sheet yet. So I couldn't get glue to work, so I put a couple slots and made these two pieces to intersect each other. And one of the slots going through and holds them together, lock it in. Instead of using this other one, 
I want it to be very lightweight. This is not quite as light as... It's pretty light. So what is this idea about? And my next step is going to be putting insulation on this board. I'm not going to use fiberglass. I'm going to use a foam insulation. It's not going to be very thick. And it's going to have a hole in it for this vent, of course. And this plug here is just to keep air from wafting down. And so this is just going to float up when there's air going up. Hopefully not float up too much. I don't think it'll float up beyond, you know. So that's the idea with that. Let's see how it works. Proper wire nut. Always a quarter inch trim. If it's a braided wire, pre-twist it. But never twist the two wires together that you're going to wire nut, or three or four. Hold them instead, dead even, with the insulation. You give yourself a little space, because there's a little skirt on the uh, wire nut. So you got to go back just a little bit, hold real tight, dead level, push them in until it stops, twist. Keep your pinch real close to the bottom. Twist until it stops. Good hard twist. You really can't twist anymore. That's a proper wire nut. And here's the completed fan head. The fan just jammed in there. With the handle for the cord to escape. Peanut jar funnel tight in there. I've got double stick tape on what was going to be the glue line. I marked with marker pulling this tight. I marked it around the circumference there where it's going to hit exactly. And I was going to glue it and I said, eh, double stick tape, which didn't really hold. But then I put this blue tape on the outside. The double stick tape pulled halfway through. So the blue tape kind of sticks to the double stick, wraps around and kind of seals it in there. But good enough for now, that way I can take it apart if I want to in the future. Modifications. I am necking down in diameter a little bit here. It's going to be this, the choke point of the whole thing. I'm all just recycled junk as usual. And that's the finished panel. Hopefully it won't stick, I hope. Well, look at that. I got a little layer of the soft foam in between the wood and the other insulation. Just for a little bit of insulation and it sticks out a little, it gives me a little more seal. I measured the size of the opening versus how big the panel was and oversized my um, insulated panel here just a smidgen and uh, then this will make up the rest of the gap too I hope so I hope this will seal better even if it's less insulation of course I can always throw that uh, fiberglass on top of it too if I really wanted to but I really don't want the fiberglass there it makes it harder to get in and out of the attic So this little guy is a little bit too heavy still. I'm probably going to go back to my original styrofoam idea when I find the right piece of styrofoam. I shortened this up a little bit because I saw it wasn't going up that high anyway. I shortened the, you know, lighten the weight up on it a little bit. This top piece is not really that flat and it's not that light. So I really didn't go back to my old plan if I can find the right styrofoam. So eventually I'll make a nicer one of those. And that project is done, at least for now. Something out of the way. So if I'm doing heavy soldering out here or working with glue or something, I don't choke. Kind of scattering it more than... <laughs> anyway, it's going up there. <laughs> 